You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Go live your life, kid. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You can get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. Stay out of trouble. Good to see you. What do you want? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Now you're talking my language. All right, here's the plan. I'll gather up a horde of ferals and wait for you by that escape door. You find a way to get it open, and then we'll sit back and enjoy the show. Indeed. Remember, I'll be waiting for you to get that door open. Don't keep me waiting long, kid. Hurry!
Give me a second. Keep your panties on. I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Hey there. I'm not here for your entertainment. Let's go on, let's see. All right. Yeah. You won't get away with that. Hello. City security to get that fresh water to the wasteland. Man, the caravans are coming. So get your glasses ready, children. This round on me. Thanks for listening. Stop! Shoot. Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? Well, then you know that some ghouls aren't feral and can be reasoned with. Those ghouls that keep trying to get into Tenpenny, they need to stop before someone gets hurt. I think they live in the nearby metro tunnels. Yes, I'm a real young man, a brand new... Aha! So you've been exploring the tower. Well done. Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here. And to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck. Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine, but you better not get caught with that. Go get him. Well, I'm a single man. I really don't need a wife. Pick up you gals.
Great job, kid. Meet me around front. I have something for you to keep the ferals from gnawing on your ass. Great job, kid. Great job, kid. Here, take this mask. It'll keep you safe from the ferals. Just don't get too close to them, or they'll sniff you out. Don't forget to put it on! Call yourself a man. Move along, please. Come out of here! 